And so what we're going to do is, is we're going to go over a top five uh, wish list for the Colts, what their top needs are in the offseason. And we're going to do that, Kent, starting with Colts offseason need number five. I would say defensive tackle. And I think the Colts can get some help in the draft in that area and 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 kind of be able to park somebody as a depth piece who, like Grover was back in the day and, and groom him in order to be kind of that next starter to p- kind of pair with DeForest Buckner. Let's now talk about Colts offseason need number four. I'm going to say edge. You know what? The defensive line last year got to the quarterback a bunch, set an Indianapolis era record for sacks, and those primarily came from the defensive line. But you look at Quiddy Pay entering year four. Um, You look at Dio Odangbo really entering year three, but four. He was drafted, but had that injury. And do those guys get to the quarterback as much as they ought to? And this is a good deep draft where it comes to edge guys. And and so if you can get a quality edge in the draft, I think, again, Ballard, that's sort of his preoccupation. I think he might choose to do that second round. I don't think he does it in the first. All right, next up. Offseason need number three. Number three, I'm gonna say I'm gonna just make it a little bit more broad and say receiver. You need a wide receiver or you need Brock Bowers at tight end. If you can get Bowers at 15, you take Bowers at 15. Other than that, I'd really like to see the Colts go after their primary needs, which we'll get to, uh, via free agency. But at the at the receiver position, there's a really good chance that somebody who could wind up being an elite level guy drops to 15, whether it's Bowers or, or whether it's Brian Thomas or Roma Dunze. I know a Dunze isn't going to, he ain't going to drop to 15, but I'd love to see him do it because he just, he looks like a Colt. He sounds like a Colt. He's a Colt. And if he could drop to 15, I'd get really excited about taking him. Now we get to the top two needs. Need number two. You got to have safeties, plural. You know, Julian Blackman's a free agent. He's had a tough time staying healthy. And, and so I think that maybe the Colts move off of Julian Blackman. I think he's going to generate some interest because he's really, he's really a pretty productive box safety. He's not bad at it, but that secondary is kind of broken. And it, you saw in the Texans game, the regular season finale, play one from scrimmage. C.J. Stroud hits Nico Collins. Nico Con- the, the Texans draw something up that gets... Nick Cross, who was playing free, get him to bite. And Nico Collins is gone for 75 and a touchdown. You got to have a free safety you can trust to make the right decision or at least trust to make the wrong decision, but not give up a 70. If if you're going to make the wrong decision, you got to be, you got to keep everybody in front of you, right? And Nick Cross has shown himself to be a guy who can't be trusted to do that in the most recent game that the Colts played. I think that sticks with Ballard. I think it sticks with Gus Bradley and Shane Steichen. I think they move off of cross. And and at the safety position, you can always get guys. Off-season need number one. You got to have a corner. You can't go out there with complete lack of depth. I mean, Sergio Brown cannot play corner for you, and and you're going to be successful. I mean, he just can't do it. He's a wonderful guy and a good special teamer. But if he's your starting quarterback, even under duress because of injuries to guys like Dallas Flowers, the suspension of Isaiah Rogers, you really got problems. Juju Brent's on one side, I'm good with. The other side, you know, going with with what the the Colts tried to, I think Jones was out there. A nice guy, big heart, but not big speed. And you need speed. Because if you're going to make mistakes and everybody makes mistakes at the corner, at outside corner, you're you're going to make mistakes and it's your speed that allows you to make up for that. And and the Colts just don't have it. So the number one need I got right now is is corner followed by safety. I think you need to replay and you got to re-sign Kenny Moore as a slot corner. But you've got an outside corner that's a glaring weakness and you got two safeties you got to go get. 